Uh, hello there. Uh, yeah, so new series. Um, last time I start restart this series. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, we are playing as the World Wrestling Network, and the idea here is that uh, Paul Heyman has acquired the rights to the World Wrestling Network. He sold off Looking for the Eye, and he he's he's looking at going. Uh, full speed ahead into the wrestling industry wrestling industry once again so he has uh, acquired the right to the World Wrestling Network uh, he, he's in an alliance here of course the World Wrestling Network Alliance with Evolve FIP and Shine now most of the roster is made up of wrestlers from that because I wanted to showcase the best of indie talent uh, from this alliance but also um, I've decided to bring in my own guys and you'll see which ones that is uh, on a second um, because it's just I don't know just because I just decided to I guess um, but Let's look at our roster here. Um, but yeah, I wanted to bring in more guys to make up more. One. So we have, you know, we have an Adam Cole here, who, you know, is, uh, where is, oh, Adam Cole, you know, he's not in any of those promotions, but every every promotion should have Adam Cole. Um, our main event scene is made up of Drew Galloway, Alex Shelley, Cody Rhodes, and Rob Van Damme. Well, Van Damme brought in because he's the third one, and I have an idea for a storyline with him. Then we have in the upper mid card, Coke Cabana, Chris uh, Sam, Matt Seidel, and Adam Cole. Then we have in the mid card, Harlem Buffalo, Sammy Callahan, Ricochet, uh, Taiwan Evans, Lance Buffalo, and Chuck Taylor. In the lower mid card, we have Devin Cutler, uh, Jonathan Gresham, uh, Tracy Williams, and Mason Cutter. Uh, then we have Fred. E e Fred, I'm just going to call him Fred. I, I made this decision in the last save too. Just going to call him Fred. I don't know how to pronounce his surname. Uh, and Will Osprey. And the reason why I have Will Osprey in there is because um, in the past. Uh, in the past, Paul Heyman has expressed how much he likes Will Ospreay's performer, so it's only logical to assume that he would want him in the company. Uh, and also Matt Riddle as an enhancement talent. Now the women's division is made up of Mary Elizabeth Monroe, Nicole Matthews, Tessa Blanchard, uh, Kaylee Ray, Lufisto, Amber Gallows and Maria Maria. Now, not only has uh, has Brock Lesnar, uh, not only has Paul Heyman uh, acquired the rights to the WWN, but he also bought out Brock Lesnar's contract and they've brought him along with him and he will be his enforcer character. Uh, so that is why I've put him in there. Oh, I didn't realise how little of a contract he had. Oh, okay then. So he's just okay. Maybe we'll edit block this and start, but that's the only that I want to edit. Uh, so we're going to the product here. Eighty percent match ratio, of course. Uh, we don't have a TV show, but if we do, eighty percent. Uh, key feature is that we're a traditional con company. And also, we are also uh, got medium on pure and very low on cold, and then the rest don't really matter to it. Um, only thing that we, we really need to know about from here is that we are really more on our performances this time. Uh, it's few is more favourable than getting for sponsors, and also we need one match game to storytelling. We also have a women's division, but we do not have a face heel to fight yet. Storylines. Um, so we have our Sidell versus Galloway storyline. You'll see how that evolves uh, 
soon enough it will take a few events though to happen uh, but then we have a tag champs story now just because you know the tag champions should have a story now and uh, so you know what I want a new story now hmm I'm thinking who was it going let's go Kelly Ray and Festo Kelly Ray Start that story then. Um that'll probably start on the next front though. Uh so and then finally we have our championship story then. Uh now, this championship storyline will begin with Seidel and Galloway as well, but then we also have Cody Rose, Ricochet and Will Van Damme, and it's called One of a Kind Champion. Now, that probably gives away who is going to be our first champion, and that's fine. And I know people will disagree with me. I've said this on the last video that I've taken down now. Uh, I know people will disagree with me, but... Uh, uh, it's all part of a bigger story, so yeah. So now that we've got that done, uh, titles we have the. Come on. Ah, here we go. We have the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, of course, using that beautiful wind eagle. Uh, play it and then we have the WWE and tag team titles which is generic plates I think it's an NWA plates actually um, now the winners of this, of these titles will be decided next week uh, sorry next month sorry because we're doing monthly shows that will be decided next month um, so yeah WWE and World Heavyweight will be decided tonight though on the show teams then we have motorcycle machine guns uh, because I'm a huge motorcycle machine guns mark we have the Lance Bravado uh, the Bravado brothers and I should just say um, we have Willow and Williams uh, uh, nothing really to say about that and we have the hooligans uh, Devin Cutter and Mason Cutter Thank you uh, to uh, Who for pointing that out, that they're called the Hooligans in FIP, I think. But also, another big thank you to the Who for the for, for the logo. Very nice logo, I like it. Um, I think that's everything that we need to show right now. Um, now, we are a lot smaller than what we initially were, and that is because then we won't be taking uh, pop losses or important losses so that's good hopefully I think we can put on good enough shows uh, but I think that's it and due to having a smaller audience now which I'm happy about and we are based in the tri-state area all of our shows for now anyway will be shown in the ECW arena uh, as it's called now the 2300 arena uh, so I'll say that as a thank you. Um, we can go ahead and we can jump right into this. <coughs> I apologise about that. I have to turn off my mic there. So let's go ahead and run the show. So we. Oh, holy shit, that's a good. That's a very good. Uh, opening to the show in front of a silly crowd of 1300 people we open up the show with Paul Heyman coming out with his enforcer Brock Lesnar Paul Heyman uh, pretty much uh, says that the reason why he has acquired the WWE and invested so much money into it which is a million dollars by the way is because he wants to showcase the best of the best indie talent and this is a way for him to do it and he also says that tonight there will be a five-way match for the to determine the first ever WWN champion between and the match will be between 
Cody Rhodes, Drew Galloway, uh, Matt Seidel, Ricochet and Rob Van Dam. Um, and he also says that there will be two tag team matches, two male tag team matches, and the winner of those matches, uh, the, the winner of those two matches, the winner, sorry, of those two matches, will go on to face each other um, in next month for the tag team championships in the main event. Uh, and he also says that if anybody gets on the wrong side of Paul Heyman, they will have his enforcer and his beast Brock Lesnar to deal with. Pretty strong start to the to the show. Uh, so Brock Lesnar is just kind of there to be there kind of deal. What? Oh, yes, right. We changed him to Enforcer. Uh, do initial rating of average. Okay. Apologize for that game. But in a 39 with a match here. We uh, we opened up the show with Riddle and Williams. Well, we after the first match of the show, I should say, Riddle and Williams take on the Hooligans. Now, of course, the winner of this match will go on to face the winner of the next tag team match in the main event of next month's show. And then about that had decent wrestling, but didn't have much heat. The Hooligans are the ones that go over here in 12 minutes, 48 seconds, when Devin Carter defeat Tracy Williams by pinfall. Uh, the announcing quality left at the match. Um, I'm not sure if I actually said who the announcers are. Anyway, the announcers is uh, is Joy Styles and Taz. Um, the color commentary also gave in the match a boost. Um, a fully in performance there for Tracy Williams. 36 for Matt Riddle. 31 for Mason Color and 34 for Devon Color. Not a bad match, but. Could have been better. Um, both uh, the Hooligans are improving their performance goals. So next month they will be in the main event competing for the Thai Championships. And then we go on to our next segment here, which is a promo with Taiwan Evans. This here fella here. Um, and he cuts a promo on Colt Cabana, pretty much saying that uh, he will be. Uh, he. he he will be victorious tonight and that the hype surrounding Coke Cabana coming to WWE and it, I forgot to add in the banner I will need to do that in a second um, and, and the hype surrounding WWE and is meaningless I'm oh, sorry the hype surrounding Coke Cabana in WWE and is meaningless pretty much um, it, it's the gist of what he says then we go into that match and in about I had decent wrestling and but, but didn't have much heat. Colt Cabana proves Tyron Evans wrong in a match that goes 12 and a half minutes after he defeats him for Colt 45 by pinfall. 50 mm performance there for Colt Cabana, and 27 for Tyron Evans, uh, who is improving in both technical and performance skills. So I decided to give the win to Colt Cabana. Um, I don't think that you know Tyron Evans. Evans, uh, a one would have done a win would have done him the world of good, but I think the match itself would have done him even better, uh, just just in general, and I just decided to give him the loss there, um, because I don't think it's gonna hurt him that much anyway. Uh, fully won with it same now, not bad. Then we go into our next segment here where we see Kelly with like. Kaylee Ray, sorry, backstage warming up before her match against, uh, I think it's Nicole Matthews. We'll go into that next segment now. And Kaylee Ray uh, goes up against Nicole Matthews, so yes, I was right. And then about that had a subpar wrestling, but a little heat. Uh, Kaylee Ray defeats Nicole Matthews in t- just over 12 minutes by pinfall with a sent on bond. Nicole Matthews seemed off a game, both for the announcing quality and a colour commentary gave the match a boost. Uh, 24 for the MM performance of Kelly Ray and 34 for Nicole Matthews. 
Um, Nicole Matthews is improving in performance goals, as is Kaylee Ray. That's not bad. A 30 minute match isn't too bad. Really, it could have been worse. <clears throat> then we go into our next segment here where we see Alex Shirley and Chris Seaman cut a promo saying that they're going to win tonight's match. Um, not only that, they will go on to become the first ever WWN Tag Team Champions of the Paul Heyman era. Um, so, yeah. 43 minute segment, not bad at all. I'm happy enough with that. And um, we're going to the, the next match, which is the Motorcycle Machine Guns taking on the Bravado Bros. And in a decent match, the Motorcycle Machine Guns go over on the Bravado Bros in 15 and a half minutes when Alex Shelley defeats Lance Bravado by pinfall with a side spread number two. In terms of in ring work, though, it was Alex Shelley who was uh, head and shoulders above everyone else. Chris Saban was off his game, as was Lance Bravado. Unfortunately, Harlem Bravado has, straight, has sustained a strained quadricep. Um, Alex Shelley and Chris Saban, of course, show excellent chemistry together. A 50 in performance there for Chris Saban, but that's nothing compared to Alex Shelley's 61. And a 43 and a 42 for Harlem Bravado and Lance Bravado, respectively. Uh, Chris Saban and Lance Profilo are both improving in performance goals, so that's good to see. A 52 with a magic ball, not bad. Uh, our build agent here, Bill Demont, uh, tells us that Harlem Profilo sustained a strained quadricep. Chris Saban has some ba heat backstage because it was felt that his mistake caused Harlem Profilo injury. That's a shame. Then we go into our next match here where we see Maria Maria and the first two team out to go up against Amber Gallows and Maria Elizabeth Monroe in about a high subpar wrestling and a little heat. Maria Maria and the first two uh, defeat Amber Gallows and Maria Elizabeth Monroe in, uh, in, in 13 minutes 22 seconds when the Festu defeats Mary Elizabeth Momo by submission with a the Festu's law. Uh, the Festu carried this match, of course, in terms of MM work with a fully in real MM performance. Um, a 24 for Mo Maria Maria, 25 for uh, Mary Momo, uh, 19 for Amber Gallows. Amber Gallows and uh, Mary Elizabeth Mumbo sh show excellent chemistry together. Maybe that is a feud for the future. Maria, Maria is improving in her performance skills, and I'm going to take a note of that. Amber Gallows. Amber Gallows. Mary Monroe Excellent I'm pretty sure that's spelled wrong but I don't care right now. Excellent chemistry. And again that's probably spelled wrong but I'm not killing a big spell much that stags right now. But uh, that's just so as I know for the future I could possibly have them feud or something. Um Daddy with it in my performance, not bad. Let's go to the next match here. Well, we uh, before the main event, we see a segment where it just showcases each of these guys: uh, Cody Rhodes, Drew Galloway, Masadel, Ricochet, and Rob Van Dam. And really, it just you know, it showcases the talents uh, in in the ring, of course, and stuff like that. Pretty favourite segment there. And this starts the one of a kind champion storyline and the side elf versus Kaway storyline. Not bad, I'm happy enough for that. Then in the match itself, which is a 48 minute match, not bad at all. And about that had good heat and decent wrestling. Rod Van Dam is the one who walks away the factor here as he defeats Drew Galloway, Matt Seidel, Ricochet, and Cooley Woods in just under 20 minutes. Uh, when Rob Van Damme uh, defeats Ricochet by pinfall, I'm not going to lie, the only reason why Ricochet was in this match was to take the pinfall. Um, also, it's given him a main offence slot, so he'll put, 
I'm hoping he can start to climb up the card now. Um, after getting a mean offense all like that. But he defeats him by pinfall after hitting him with a 5 star frog splash. And what I found down is the first ever WWN World Heavyweight Champion in the Paul Heyman era. 51 uh, in-room performance for Cody Rhodes. He seemed off his game tonight, unfortunately. A 50 for Drew Galloway, not bad. 47 uh, my side L got a 3 46 so uh, Ricochet gets and uh, a 58 well found down gets as the highest rated performer there tonight but Drew Galloway is improving in his performance goes and 48 with a match of all not bad and then to end the show on a 55 with the high we have well found down celebrate with the tail in the ring by the way, I should have probably said that our shows are going to be shown short term anyway, and then we'll think about moving after the three episodes have been used up, possibly anyway, is shown on uh, on YouTube. But actually, we do need to book in a match very quickly here that I've got to book in. Uh, and that is, of course, going to be motorcycle machine guns taking on the hooligans for the tag titles. So we'll end that show there. And a 49 Riddle uh, if in here. Not bad at all. Uh, we used Matt Riddle far too much though. Uh, but we do increase our pop in 45 regions. Happy enough with that. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we will go. Alex, share the UK your Max match. So let me put you in there. Um, How about also Coke Cabana? Complimented for good performance. And also we will go with uh, Mary Elizabeth Munro and we will point her as a good example for taking the loss. Let's make that speech. Alex Shelley seemed pleased. Coke Cabana seemed pleased and Mary Munro seemed pleased. So, pretty decent first event there. I'm happy enough with that. Um, it could have been uh, worse. It could have been better, I feel. Um, but it is pretty good for our first event, especially considering our pop is 30, so nobody's really expecting too much from us at this point. Um, although YouTube do want something like a minimum of a 44, 42... If I'm in for uh, it's usually premium, I should say. Uh, and we've got a pretty good time on it, so I think it's YouTube anyway. If not, then I have just made a huge blunder. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's YouTube uh, that we've decided to go with, and we will change that in the future. Um, but really, I'm just going with that at the minute because one is a little bit of subscription money, and two, um. Uh, and and two, I it is they are a, they're not big by no means are they big but they have a wide coverage um, so I'm getting worldwide exposure here and I've got it on at a pretty decent time so a good lot of people will see it uh, so really that's why I decided to go with YouTube. But uh, we, we will look at changing it in the future uh, to a bigger network. Of course. Um, <clears throat> and really that is just because, well, we want to grow as a company, don't we? And the only way to do that is to... Uh, is to get a bigger bigger broadcaster you know bigger and better and all that uh, we'll probably end up going pay with you at some point I do think that pay with you is a good way to go uh, but right now I want to build up a fan base before we decide to charge people a lot of money for it um, so yeah that's the that's the ideas anyway uh, Decent bit of money made from that show. 
Joyce Styles was given. Oh, I won't worry about that. Uh, YouTube premium deal expiring in two events. Two episodes in. Okay, let's see how bad your injury is. A strained quadricep. I don't know how bad that is. Uh, physical. Uh, that's not bad actually. Uh, so he'll probably be able to compete in the next show. Not that I, I'm not sure if he'll be in the next show to be honest with you, but what we'll see. And a point not six TV win. We'll see how much people watched it. No nah. show history. Uh, Fifty-two thousand people watched it. That's not bad. Not bad. Um, decent start. Uh, hopefully we can keep on improving on that get more and more people watching uh, but yes it's YouTube premium uh, broadcasting uh, we are on at late night that was it's the best time slot for us really in terms of minimum quality sorry it's a 43 they won't in terms of minimum I mean uh, I, I, in terms of the minimum quality that they're looking for so it goes 43 now we may negotiate that um, and go for a different time slot you know so prime time is obviously the best but it's a 59 very very high the evening comes after that as does evening um, but they are very high with it so we're keeping it with uh, a late night for now anyway but I would like to be able to get a prime time slot at some point, just because it's you know it's at the best time, obviously. Uh, most amount of people watch it now. More eyes on the on, on the product is is what we want. But we'll go in and look at potential broadcasters now. As we are based in the US, we will be doing this based on the US broadcasters. Uh, but uh, you know, just flu time is all. It's obviously uh, an, an option, but I don't think we will go with that because one, probably too much people. Yeah, you say too much people on it. And two, it's tiny. Uh, I don't know what YouTube premium is actually. Very small, uh, so it's slightly bigger. They are all, yep. So. And, and so the reason why I want to go with uh, probably another subscription service is because when you see like these types of companies here uh, uh, just American based companies uh, broadcasting it's very limited to your audience so you're only getting people from the states watching it whereas I want to get a worldwide audience now the problem with that is you can't go and get another broadcaster yes this is true but the problem that lies in this is that I could go, the only way that I'm going to get a worldwide viewing is if I, in every single country, uh, every single continent and region is if I go with one of these uh, subscription based broadcasters. Now, seems very obvious, yes, but the thing with that is, if I was to go say with Sinclair Broadcast Group, only it does in the States. Right, if I want to go with a, a company in that broadcast in Canada, you know, easy enough. Plenty of companies that do that, and I'm sure there's plenty of companies that just do. Um, well, no, in fairness, I could go with something like ESPN that does both America and Canada, but that's not really the point here. Now, right, if you go to Mexico, you know. We're only getting the subscription based services that provide coverage in Mexico and free to air also. Um, and then you go to the British Isles, and once again, we see the same issue come up. Um, the same issue will come up with every single one of these. So, what is the issue there? The issue is that with events, you cannot have more than one broadcaster that. Uh, shows in the same region. So, if I I can't show in the US with both Comet, say for example, and Pivot Share, because they're both showing in the US, so I can't use both of them. Uh, it's what I'm trying to get at. Now, of course, if you're experienced at this, uh, you you will know that. 
but that is just more my uh, how I'm kind of looking at it in my head and that's why oh Chris Haven has morale issues for some reason uh, annoyed at causing an injury don't be what why sh what <sighs> fuck you He's annoyed at causing an injury, so now he's has morale issues. Uh, okay, but uh, so a size and a pop is something that we will be looking at a lot. Mini a pop and important is here as well, but mini pop. Now we are number seven in the world, uh, and we'll go ahead and we'll look at oh, where we are. So there we are there, we are the NXT, CMLL, uh, AAA, TNA, New Japan and WWE. Now my goal is to become the highest rated overall in the world, but really that will be a long road ahead and I know that. So it will, but uh, it will be fine. And I do hope to grow fairly quickly and get up to get, at least get past NXT and uh, CML or something like that you know in the first sort of six months or so uh, which I realise will be difficult but we'll, we'll give it a go NXT got new faces apparently um, so I think that's all that we need to do here really anyway uh, I think that's all I have to show Actually, before we leave, we are going to put pre book in a match here. We're going to pre book in a triple fit match. So, it will be between. Uh, not Adam Core. Adam Core is not going to be debuting yet, and that will fit into the A storm. It will be between Cody Rhodes, Drew Galloway, and Matt Seidel. Now, bear with me with this one. Uh, and this will be a number one contenders match for the championship, but we will have a uh, we'll have a promo at the start of the next event, justifying why that is happening. And we'll also go ahead and we will book in a one on one match between let's go Bo Osper. Hmm, maybe not. Let's go Cabana maybe and Ricochet. Let's go with Ricochet. Um, yeah, let's go for let's go with Ricochet. And we also need to book in one more match, and then we'll we'll also have a couple more matches put in here at some point, but not anytime soon anyway. Uh, so you know what? We will start off this storyline with a title match. And that will be with. We need the women's division to come up first. Uh, Kelly Ray and the festival will be teaming up. And they will take on Mary Elizabeth Monroe and Nicole Matthews. So that will be fine like that. Uh, thank you very much for watching this one, but. Um, and yeah. Thanks for watching. I know it's a long episode and hopefully we can shorten these down in the near future. But yeah, thank you very much. Goodbye.